Apex stands out as a decentralized non-custodial derivatives protocol. It's revolutionizing the market by enabling perpetual swaps for various token pairs. This means users have complete control over their assets, a core principle of decentralized finance, and in this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. To fully understand this project, I want to take a quick moment to tell you what decentralized finance is and what derivative trading is. Decentralized finance, commonly known as DeFi, is a financial system built on blockchain technology. It operates without traditional centralized institutions like banks. In DeFi, financial products are accessible on a blockchain network, making them open to anyone with internet access. And this system uses smart contracts which are self-executing contracts with the terms directly written into code, removing the need for intermediaries. DeFi offers various financial services such as lending, borrowing and trading, but with more transparency and often lower costs than traditional finance. And derivatives trading involves financial contracts whose value is derived from an underlying asset like stocks, commodities or currencies. Instead of buying the asset directly, traders buy or sell contracts based on predictions about the asset's future price. Think of derivatives trading like betting on a sports game without actually playing in it. Imagine you think team A will win and you make a deal with a friend that if team A wins, they'll give you 10 bucks. But if team A loses, you'll give them 10 bucks. And in derivatives trading, the game is the future price of something like a stock or gold. You're making a bet on what its price will be at a later time. You don't own the stock or gold, just like you're not playing in the game, but you can still win or lose money based on what happens with its price. Now it's used for hedging risks or speculating on price movements. For example, if you think the price of gold will rise, you can buy a gold derivative to profit from this potential increase without actually buying physical gold. This type of trading can be complex and carries risks, but is popular for its potential high rewards. So now that we have a basic understanding of what Apex offers, it's time to deep dive into the project. In a dynamic world of trading, Apex serves multiple purposes. Traders use it for hedging against market volatility, speculating on price movements and finding arbitrage opportunities. Its versatility in supporting a wide range of assets makes it a potent tool for portfolio diversification. Built on the decentralized and permissionless Apex protocol, Apex Pro is an alternative to Apex EAMM, which is Elastic Automated Market Maker. And on Apex EAMM, traders enjoy access to a fully permissionless derivatives trading experience where they can provide liquidity on any token while maintaining control of their private keys. It's introduced the order book model on Apex Pro with Starkware's layer 2 scalability engine Stark X, which will provide higher performing trades and an enhanced experience users are familiar with. The ultimate goal is to establish a social trading platform and this benefits more experienced traders with more avenues of passive income and less experienced traders who can observe and replicate the behavior, signals and strategies of other traders. Leveraging social trading allows Apex Pro to offer all traders accelerated trading performance and deep liquidity while preserving privacy and security in a decentralized space based on the core belief that trades made together in the Web 3.0 world are better. In a decentralized and privacy preserving environment, Apex Pro will assess the trading track records and reputation of a pseudonymous trader to select principal traders via an SBT. An SBT encapsulates and represents everything social, be they a person or entity's credentials, affiliations or achievements across a variety of industries, from education to finance to even gaming and more. An SBT can be issued or revoked by any distribution party, including smart contracts, entities or decentralized autonomous organizations, which are also known as DAOs. And it is housed in wallets called SOL. Now on Apex Pro, the SBT APSOL will be used to establish a trader's trading performance and reputation in a social trading model, erasing the need for manual verification via a centralized entity. Traders have full control over the creation of their APSOLs. Now, APSOLs are linked to a trader's trading profile, which is a DID, a digital identity, which includes data such as trading volume, number of trades, open interest, ranking profits, and much more. And with this, Apex Pro traders can make their foray into Web3 social trading, where principal traders can be determined automatically on the protocol via the data locked on a trader's unique APSOL. In the context of decentralized finance, Apex finds itself in competition with various platforms, each offering distinct features and services in derivatives trading. Competitors like Uniswap and Compound have established themselves with strong user bases and diverse financial offerings. 
Uniswap, for instance, is renowned for its automated liquidity provision in token swapping, a different focus compared to Apex perpetual swap markets. Now, and Compound specializes in crypto lending and borrowing, offering a different aspect of DeFi services. And what sets Apex apart is its specific focus on perpetual swaps, a type of derivative that doesn't expire which offers traders continuous exposure to asset prices. This niche specialization in the DeFi landscape enables Apex to cater to a specific segment of traders interested in long-term market exposure, differentiating it from platforms with broader, more generalized DeFi services. All right, and then it's time to look at some actual data. First up, CoinGecko, because we want to see how the project has done. And when you found the project, put the timeline on max and have a look. Here we see that Apex has skyrocketed. And does this mean we're late? Well, it depends. I'm all about not chasing green candles, but sometimes when a project gets momentum, it might still be a good time to jump in. We've already established that the competitors of Apex are like Uniswap and Compound. And if we look at their market caps, we see Uniswap at 4.7 billion at the time of this recording and Compound at 350 million market cap. Now another competitor is GMX. I've made a separate video on that, which I'll link down below, and that currently valued at 480 million. If it's going to 4 billion, then that's a 3x from here, since the fully diluted market cap of Apex is 1.3 billion at the time of this recording. However, what's important to note is that the circulating supply is lower than the total supply, which means that new tokens are still flowing in, which could put pressure on the price. And for the second metric, we're going to look at Twitterscore.io. Their official Twitter has 174K followers at the time of this recording, but I want to get an indication whether or not the hype is legit. So I go to Twitterscore.io and I fill in their handle. Now we see that they score a normal and are followed by some big influencers like Miles Deutscher. If we look at the growth curve, we see a steep curve between September and November, and then fading to a more normal line between November and January. This could either mean that they have purchased followers, giving them a boost and attention, or that they got noticed by influencers which draw attention to them. Now here's a tweet from Miles in November talking about Apex. And here's another tweet of someone trying to draw the attention from Lady of Crypto in June of last year. So that looks good because there's attention for it over a longer period of time. All right, so let's move on to the next metric, which is bubblemaps.io. If we go to CoinGecko, we can find the contract address there and use it on Bubble Maps. Here we see something interesting. The first wallet is the contract wallet, but the second largest wallet is Bybit, which can be explained due to the fact that Bybit has developed Apex. Now, this could pose a risk because if Bybit crashes, so will Apex, most likely. Or if Bybit decides to get rid of its tokens, the price might crash. However, if you look after that, you see a lot of smaller wallets. And that's something that is always good to see because the more wallets that hold a token, the more stable it is. And then let's look at June.com. I use it to see what the demand for a project is. Here we see something interesting again, because at the day of this recording, 43 new wallets have been activated and a total of 909 wallets in the past 90 days. However, if we look at the next metric, we can see that the price of Apex is going up, but the amount of new wallets is declining. Now on January, 3rd and January 4th, we see the biggest increase in wallets. Now, if we look at the price action on CoinGecko again, you see the price booming on January 3rd and January 4th, moving kind of sideways afterwards, which matches with the amount of new wallets. So is this a good investment? Well, I'm not here to give you financial advice because I'm not a registered financial advisor. My videos are meant to be educational and entertaining only. Always do your own research and only invest money you're willing to lose because even though you can gain a lot in crypto, you will most likely lose it all. Now, in the event that you do become filthy rich, it's important that you safeguard your crypto. And the best way to do this is by using hardware wallets. My personal choice of hardware wallet is Tangent because it's so convenient. All you need is your phone and a card to be able to utilize the hardware wallet. I've made a dedicated video on it, which I'll link down below as well. Be sure to check it out. And if you want to buy this hardware wallet, make sure to use my coupon code so you get an additional 10% off. Right, let's continue with the video. So is this a good investment? Well, 
I'm not sure, but it does give you something to think about whether or not Apex is a good buy right now because it's already close to its all time high and already did a little over 10x. However, don't stare yourself blindly on the amount of X's a project has done. Just like you don't look at your crush how many X's she has and look at the future you can have with her. The same principle applies to projects. Is there room for growth? Is there an actual demand for it? Or will there be a demand in the future? Let us know in the comments whether or not you have invested or will invest in Apex and why. Now for the record, I don't hold Apex tokens and I'm not planning on adding them to my portfolio in the short term. All right, so Apex Pro aims to revolutionize cryptocurrency trading by moving away from centralized models where a single entity controls traders' accounts and assets. It addresses the limitations of traditional social trading platforms such as added costs, limited access, and compromised security. Apex Pro's decentralized approach in the Web3 framework facilitates open engagement among traders, enhances trading performance, and maintains privacy and security. The platform uses Solbank tokens and the Apex token to incentivize incentivize participation and foster a community-driven trading environment, which is free from intermediary control. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Doei!